Welcome back to North of the Broad. I'm your host, Karen Wyman, coming to you from higher ground here in downtown Buford. I'm joined this afternoon by Councilman Stephen Murray. Stephen, thanks for being a guest this afternoon. Yeah, thanks, Karen. So I wanted you to be on our show this afternoon. You've been a guest in the past and have always been very insightful and giving us information as to what was going on in the city and in the county. But obviously it was important for you to be here to talk about what's happening here in Buford. I know that last evening you guys had a city council meeting and people are interested and a little anxious to hear what's going on after um, Hurricane Matthew and the impact that it's had here in our community. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, a lot of times we think about the storm as, as the event, but really for our community, it's just the beginning mm -hmm. um, of a very long process. Absolutely. Um, and I think, our, you know, culturally we want things to happen, you know, immediately. <laughs> right away. Um, and things like this, it will take us, it will take us a long time. It may even take, you know, years for us to fully recover uh, from this storm event, which could have been, I think, could have been much worse. I think absolutely. we're very fortunate, especially in the city of Beaufort, um, that the, the tide happened like it was, the storm surge wasn't as bad. Is, is forecasted um, and overall I think we we fared extremely well um, we did have a council meeting last night we had all of our department heads come in and give a, an update an update yeah you um, didn't mention that and I think we all should be city residents should be very proud um, of our staff uh, from the chief of police on down to the public works workers and the officers in the street um, building codes is doing a door-by-door -door analysis of, of the city and doing mm -hmm. inspections um, and so I got a few numbers to share yeah, with you. Yeah, absolutely. So, That's why you're here to share, to yeah, try to so, share uh, how we fared and, um, and, and, if, and if people are in one of those categories where they need some help, maybe we can give them some directions on where they need to go. Absolutely. So um, we right now, as of yesterday, we've got 176 damaged structures um, in the city of Beaufort. Okay. Um, if folks had damage to their house when they came home, they may see a, um, a green, a yellow, or a red tag on their, on their house or on their business. Indicating um, the level of damage? Indicating the level of damage. So green means that uh, you can go ahead and make repairs. There's no permits required. Mm -hmm. um, yellow means that uh, use some caution around the structure and that permits are required. And please contact the uh, city building office. Okay. The number's on there. And red means that the property is very dangerous. Um, please do not enter it um, and you have to contact the office beforehand. The good news is out of the 176 structures, um, 121 of them have been green tagged, okay. so no permit required. Uh, 50 were yellow tagged, so that requires some, some uh, permits. Permit, uh, yeah. And five were unsafe uh, and red tagged. Uh, and the good news about the five, I think, is that three of them were either for sale and were empty. Uh, no one was living in the structure time, and one was even a vacant and abandoned house that was in, in pretty poor condition. Um, so I think, again, we fared, we fared very, very well. Uh, the city's also waiving all permit fees um, until December 31st. Right, so if people are got those yellow tags or those red tags and they are in need of a permit, it's it's really at this point just to make sure they're doing things safely and that nobody gets injured. Um, we don't need injuries <laughs> for getting things fixed. And, and obviously that's one of the things that we all think about, whether it's um, in your line of work on the city council or, or my day job, you know, working at, at One Blood is, you know, the incidents um, of injuries or potential injuries that happen um, post a hurricane, post event. You know, right. um, I was saying to you as we were um, coming to do this interview that one of the biggest concerns I had was how do I get blood and, and products back into right. Buford Memorial so that they could open, anticipating that people do get injured trying to repair things, moving or cutting trees down themselves. Right. Um, and then there's always the worst case scenario where somebody um, gets involved with some live wires and, and gets electrocuted. Absolutely. So. Um, Considering the population, you guys know it, with these statistics, we fared fairly well as a community. Yeah, I mean, until uh, I think Tuesday or Wednesday of last week is where we have the, the latest statistics, but through the entire storm event evacuation and the initial cleanup, uh, we had zero fatalities and zero injuries. Excellent. Uh, both staff and public. Um, and, uh, you know, as you said, city council on down to uh, all of the folks in the city, public safety is our number one priority. Absolutely. And the fact that we, we had no injuries and we had no fatalities, um, I said, I think very, speaks very highly of, of the citizen preparation uh, in both evacuations and preparing for the storm, those who stayed, um, and also our staffs. Uh, and the preparations they made. Well, well, absolutely, and I think that's what we all need to, to recognize, that public safety is just that. People are there to serve and make sure that we're all um, safe. Um, obviously, a little frustration some people have had about getting being able to return to the county or their home sooner, but um, in the big picture, we all need to uh, recognize all the hard work that the members of the public safety team did during this, this event. Um, Always a pleasure to have you as a yeah, guest Karen, on North of the Broad. Thank you so much. We'll be sure to have you back and give us um, updates as we move through the Boundary Street project. Anytime. But thank you so much, Stephen. We'll be right back with our next guest on North of the Broad.